Congratulations again. We're really, really proud of you. And now, we are proud to announce that Karen Sams has been chosen as the 2020 Texas Elementary Teacher of the Year. As Karen comes forward, I want you to know that Karen will also represent Texas in the competition for National Teacher of the Year. Wow. Making her official title 2020 Texas Teacher of the Year. Congratulations, Karen. Oh my gosh, this is insanity. <sighs> like for real. Um, what an extremely humbling experience to stand in this room with so many incredible educators. Um, just listening to our stories last night at our dinner was just, like someone said, it made my heart happy and um, really reinforced why we do what we do every day and um, just really made me happy and inspired last night. So um, I'm happy to be here today to celebrate our accomplishments together. And I'm honored to represent my amazing school, David Crockett Elementary. <laughs> it's pretty great. My uh, wonderful district, Weatherford ISD, uh, my Innovative Education Service Center, Region 11, and the thousands of passionate, dedicated, hardworking, and relentless educators in the state of Texas. Um, thank you to the Texas Association of School Administrators for organizing this luncheon and for all the planning and the coordination that it took to make the Texas Teacher of the Year program possible. Um, again, I forgot to recognize my husband at the Region 11 dinner, so that's the first paragraph on my speech here. I would like to first and foremost thank my husband, Eric Sams, who is also an educator and has served as a school administrator for the last seven years. I'm very thankful that 13 years ago, our principal thought that we'd make a great match and set us up on our first date. She invited me to see his stand-up comedy show, which was really something. <laughs> Thankfully, he decided to pursue a more professional career. But I'm glad I stuck by you, and we have this amazing, beautiful life together with our two boys, Wyatt and Levi. And um, your love and support really helps me be a better teacher and our shared passion for public education fuels me to fight for my students and for this important institution that we're all part of. Um, I'm not here today by my own merits. I'm the teacher that I am today because of the amazing teammates and colleagues and administrators and leaders who have helped me along the way and have shaped, shaped me into the educator that I am today. I would like to specifically thank my cheering section from Weatherford ISD, my principal, Madi Lisa Moore, um, Charlotte Legrone, Dr. Hanks, and Dina Lopez. Um, thank you for supporting me, and um, thank you for all that you do to help our teachers teach, challenge, and inspire each student in Weatherford, Texas. Go Roos. <clears throat> Today is just such a, an honor um, and I think about every day when I walk into my classroom and I put my things down at my desk and I look up and see a quote behind my desk that, from Rita F. Pearson that says, every child deserves a champion, an adult who will never give up on them, who understands the power of connection and insists that, become, that they become the best that they can possibly be. So this has become my daily mantra in the classroom. Some days I only have to read it once other days, to read it a lot. <clears throat> and with the many demands that are put on teachers, this quote really resonates with me because it really encompasses my why. So with the challenges and sometimes obstacles of teaching, teachers, we still show up, we put a smile on our faces, and we champion for our students anyway because we believe in the power of public education. Public schools welcome all students, no matter who your parents are or where they come from, no matter what language is spoken in your home, no matter what side of town you live on, no matter how, how many adverse childhood experiences you've endured, 
No matter your capability or disability, no matter your needs, whether seen or unseen, no matter. We educate anyone who walks through our doors. The public school is the backbone of a community, and a free and public education is the last great equalizer. It's what sets us apart from any other place in the world, and it's what truly empowers students to be whatever they want to be, no matter. I'm so grateful and humbled by this honor, I'm very overwhelmed by it, but I'm very excited to represent all of you and the thousands of teachers of the great state of Texas, and I thank you for this honor. Paparazzi over here. <laughs> 